going and wondering how big they don't got. And wondering, can I ever get a picture for them? In the name of Jesus. My Lord. But I know a man. I know yeah. this man. All right. The great physician. Hallelujah. I know All this right. man. Jesus of Christ. That played on Calvary Cross. Hallelujah. Over 2,000 years ago. Thank but you and me. And you and you. We had to give God some praise in this place. We have not because we ask not. And do we really believe that God can do a seat of
name of Jesus. I can't be still on God. I'm a radical praiser. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we do here at Second Chance Restoration. Hallelujah. Not to be in ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to move. We got to learn how to move into the things of God. Hallelujah. What God is calling us to. We got to ask God, God, what do you have me to do at this present time in my life? God, who do you want me to reach? I can't reach everybody, but God has assigned me of people for me to reach. Amen. So don't get caught up. Back in the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve. Don't get caught up with the lies and tricks of the enemy. Don't get sidetracked by the lies and tricks of the enemy. It's only an illusion. It's not what it really is. And then all the stuff out here is not what it really is. It's all an illusion. You got to tap into not the natural, but the supernatural things of God. In the name of Jesus. You got to tap into it. You got to see yourself as prosperous. You got to see yourself as CEO or president. You got to see yourself with thousands of salons all across America. You got to really see yourself in that position. The lady with the issue of blood, she positioned herself to get her healing. She positioned herself. She said, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, Lord. Oh, this is what I must do. Whatever I have to go through. This is what I must do. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm burning down right now in my spirit. But I know a man that can lift you up. I know a man can turn every situation over. when I'm having this home. Because somebody out there that's dealing with some situations in their life at this present moment just don't know how they're going to make it through. Don't know what condition my lies ahead of them. In the name of Jesus. You got to get it together. You got to move into the things of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David. David didn't hesitate. In the book of Psalms, he danced until he danced his clothes out. In the name of Jesus. And we dance on the dance floor, but we can't come into the church hall and give God no praise. We can't give God no glory for what he's doing in this nation. And then when you look on the news and you see all things happening in this world. And God is so graciously blessed with us. Hallelujah. He's so graciously, graciously blessed with us. You got tornadoes and storms on the other side of the countries. But God is so gracious to bless us that we still on the side of the job. We can't give God no praise and we can't give him no glory. Something wrong in the inside of you. You got a deep issue that's plaguing you deep down in the inside. In order for God to move, you got to distrust him. You got to believe him that it is every word that he'll do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask from him. I am a millionaire. I don't speak prosper. I don't speak poverty in my life. I don't. With the king. A king and lords and lords. Not with the things on the earth. But I'm a million out of heavenly places, baby. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, sign me to certain women in my life that came in my life. And when I was uh, in my beauty shop or whatever, I prayed for them. Hallelujah. And they tell me sometimes that the hair be coming out. And I begin to pray and I begin to speak over that hair fall. Because you better get right back in your rightful place. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, called it shall grow. In the name of Jesus. God calls us to grow in the things of Him. He calls us to grow in the things with Him, to not let deep issues hold us hostage and hold us bound. In the name of Jesus. This woman, a certain woman, didn't have a name, but she had an issue. Are you that woman? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? She had an issue. Is it me? She had a deep issue that lies within her. And the only way that she could get healed from her afflictions was to touch the hem of his God. And she was made whole. And he said, daughter. Now it don't change the script. Now to a certain woman, to a daughter. Because he said, now I call you daughter because you believe you had enough faith to come into my kingdom to be able to let me touch you in the name of Jesus. So she went from a certain woman to a daughter. She went from a condition into a position in the kingdom. Amen. So let's, let's deal with our deep issues within us. Let's deal with our deep issues that may be holding us bound. Amen. We give God the glory. We give God the praise for what he's doing in this kingdom. Amen. Just let God arise in us. Let God take root in us. 
in the name of Jesus. Deep issues. Deep issues. You have a diagnosis. You have a discomfort. And you have a duration of how long you've been in it. God says, time to rise and shine and give me the glory. Amen.
from a condition to a position. From a condition to a position. Not in the natural realm, but in the spiritual realm of God. Woman God, we thank God for utilizing you today. Amen. Doors of opportunity have been opened and been released to you. Hallelujah. Doors have been opened in heavenly places to you. Hallelujah. We thank God for that river word, for that revelation. Those of you, hallelujah, that receive the word. Hallelujah. You can be here, but you'll miss the word. Come on. You, you, you can sit here and you'll miss the word. The Bible says that a, a soul would have to sow some seeds. I'm going to leave it alone. Hallelujah. But if you heard the word of God within your spirit, I ask you that you allow the spirit of God to assert your spirit. Speak to your spirit, man. Identify the diagnosis, the discomfort, and the duration. And if that thing, hallelujah, has got you all played down, hallelujah, all bottled up, confined, and you've been beating this thing, it seems like it's only a, a sheer Thin glass bowl. Hallelujah. Everybody is walking around and seeing you in your discomfort. And you're tired of all the lies. You're tired of putting all your trust in man, woman, boy, and girl. The woman of God spoke. Jesus the Christ was in the midst of a multitude, of a multitude. Divine healing was taking place. Jairus had a daughter. But this woman of God, this certain woman, she pressed. She did not allow the diagnosis. She did not allow the discomfort. Yes, yes. And she was going to take another second of the duration. Oh, Y'all going to praise God again. She was not going to take another day of the duration. She was not going to take another week of the duration. She was not going to take another year of the duration. Regardless what man say out here in the natural way. Amen. Because she knows the Messiah, the Lamb of God, was in her vicinity, in her community, in her backyard. But I serve you notice today, those of us that confess Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, he's on the inside of us. But he want to live through you. He want to live through you. But he's not a God that will force himself on none of us. Hallelujah. 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 And on last night, amen, somebody. Minister Lashari Justin, amen, somebody. She spoke from this same scripture. Hallelujah.
same vein. Mm -hmm. It's got you played down. Mm -hmm. She also says that the opposite of fear is faith. So we ask you this morning, as we get ready to close for our first annual women's conference, where is your faith? Is your faith in the things that you see in the natural way? Is your faith in that fine car? Is your faith inside that big house but never become a home until you invite the love of God in? She said, get in position along with First Lady. Both of them, same thing. The Spirit of God spoke to them. Confirmation. Get in position. If you know that you're out of position and you've been there, you've been down at notes, you have a discomfort, and you've been going through the duration, get in position. But not only that, when you get in position, you got to be able to hear God. Must develop spiritual ears. Let go of the gospel. Let go of the he say and she say. But hear God. Get yourself around the crowd. There were a lot of foolishness. Come on, somebody. Not only that, but my focus must be correct. What you focus on? What are you focused on? Why don't you focus on what's embedded inside of you ever since you can remember who you were? You focus on those, 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 those extracting and promises of God on the inside of you, those dreams and those visions that you know that you have when it takes, and not only that, but you see yourself already operating, then ask the question. Why well, am not moving in the things of God? Everybody is within your inner circle. If they're not celebrating you, don't allow them to tolerate you. God has called us to be distinct, to be peculiar, to be set aside for His glory. <coughs> All you have to do is step out. Can you stand to your feet? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you stand to your feet and touch it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we get ready to close out this women's conference, amen, somebody, but we have first lady to come back, amen, in her own way, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people don't want you to move. Amen. Some people want to see you barricade. Anybody believe this is your year? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's all right. Hallelujah.